Welcome to another interesting lesson on magnetism. My name is Moyo Remy. And this time around, we are looking at demagnetization. If you remember in the previous lesson, we were looking at magnetization, which was a process of making a magnet. But we are now going to look at demagnetization, which is a process of making what was a magnet not to be a magnet. Now, at the end of the lesson, I expect you to know that AC current is used to demagnetize a bar magnet. Now, let's get into the details of the lesson. In our arrangement of the apparatus, the apparatus remain the way they are. We are going, when demagnetization, when demagnetizing, we use the solenoid. But this time around, the solenoid will be connected to an AC power supply. Now, the power supply we are using is still our power pack, which is our power pack, but I will just change the connections. Remember? That is off. My connection now, I remove them from the DC knobs and bring them here, where it is written AC. Remember we said for AC simply stands for alternating current. So this, that's the only thing that I've changed. I've just moved the cables from the DC power supply to the AC power supply. The solenoid remains and the power pack remains. Now, the material that we're going to use this time around, have you seen? This is a bar magnet and you still have the iron filings still attracted to it. So, this is the bar magnet. We are going to insert the bar magnet into the solenoid and then we are going to switch on the current. Now, let's look at these details together on the board. We are saying demagnetization using AC current. Now, if you look at the diagram for this one, you're going to see we have got our solenoid again, like that. Here, we have our switch. Now, I want you to notice some difference in the, in, our, in the diagram for demagnetization. You see, for the DC power supply, we had a source which had this, showing a positive terminal and negative terminal. But for the AC, this is the symbol for AC supply. That is the symbol for AC supply. Now, again here, for magnetization, we had the iron bar. But for demagnetization, we have the bar magnet. This is now the bar magnet. It is the bar magnet. And when you looked at demagnetization, we showed the current was shown to say we had the current flowing like that, flowing like that. But under demagnetization, we cannot show this current. Why? Because the current is changing direction. It's changing direction. It's not flowing in one direction. So uh, when we are demagnetizing, we don't show the direction of current. Was it to move 50 times, 50 times in one second? So it alternates, hence alternating what? Current. So this is our diagram, this is our diagram representing the solenoid for demagnetization. Now, what is the procedure? If you look at the procedure, here we are going to say, one, you place, place a bar magnet. in a solenoid connected to an AC power supply. Place a bar magnet in a solenoid connected to an AC power supply. Then two, you switch on the current on the current and let it flow for some few minutes. Now here we have to be very careful. You see when we are magnetizing, we said that you switch on the current for some few minutes then switch off. But here there's nothing like switching off. Whilst, that's the next thing you're going to do, whilst the current is still flowing, withdraw. We are going to withdraw this bar magnet from the solenoid. 
to some distance, say, a meter away from it. So we are saying, what is the current? What is the current is still flowing? Withdraw. Withdraw the bar magnet. from the solenoid. So once you withdraw the bar magnet from the solenoid, you have got to test it for magnetism. You discover that it has lost its magnetism. It can no longer attract the iron filings. So there are key things here that I want, you to, uh, I want us to look at. When magnetizing and demagnetizing, here, if you look at demagnetizing, first of all, it's the source. The power source should be alternating current, AC power supply. And if you look at the symbols, this symbol is for AC, but that symbol is for DC. Where I've got the positive terminal, negative terminal, positive terminal, negative terminal. Another thing you need to note is that when we are demagnetizing, the direction of current is not shown on the diagram. Why? Because the current is what? Alternating. Whereas for the direct current, always current flows in one direction. Hence it is shown. What material are we using in the demagnetization? It's the bar magnet. But previous, in the previous lesson, we talked of the iron bar, which was being magnetized into a bar magnet. Then another key thing is on the switching. When we switch off the current when demagnetizing, we switch, on, we switch on the current and we let it flow for some few minutes. Then we don't switch, switch off, no. While the current is still flowing, we withdraw the bar magnet from the sunlight. After you have withdrawn, that's when you can switch off. Then thereafter, you will be testing the, mag the, the bar magnet for magnetism. But you are going to discover that it has been demagnetized. Now, just here, let me just show you, illustrate, using the magnetic domains in our magnetic theorem. This time around, we have got a bar magnet. And it will be like this. See, these are the small atoms, the domains. You know, these are the domains. And this is a magnet. Now, if you look at this to be a magnet, and remember, when you are looking at magnetic fields, we say magnetic fields, for example, if you look at this, this magnet, if that is north, that is south, we say the magnetic field will run from north to south. Remember? Like that. Like that. Like that. Yeah, like that. Now here, you definitely, if you look at that, you discover that is our north, that is our what? Our south. Now, if we say we demagnetize that, and the current is changing direction, what it's simply doing is that it is simply disarranging this arrangement. So that at the end of the day, we're going to come up with a pattern which will have the domains pointing in different directions. And that has been caused by the changing in direction of the current, current, and this becomes unmagnetized. So when you want to demagnetize, that's the reason why we use the AC supply and not the DC supply. Fine. Uh, our bar magnet now has been demagnetized, and let's see. Let's test for magnetism if it is going to attract any ion filings. Bring so, a magnet. Have you seen what is happening? This is attracting the yeah, iron filings. But if you look at this one, this one has been demagnetized. It can't attract. So which means we have successfully demagnetized this bar magnet using uh, AC current. Okay, if you look at the homework, we we'll simply say state three other methods by which we can demagnetize a bar magnet. State three other methods of demagnetizing a bar magnet. State three other methods of demagnetizing a bar magnet. Then two, describe an experiment
how to demagnetize a bar magnet using electricity. So, describe an experiment on how to demagnetize a bar magnet using electricity. Yeah, if you look at the solutions for our homework, uh, the first question uh, is about the other methods. We have seen the method that we discussed was that of using AC current. The other methods are one, dropping the mag bar magnet several times. Just by dropping it, you pick it, you pick it, you drop it. You know? So, if you pick it, you drop it, pick it, you drop it. What is happening when it is hitting down? You find that those magnetic domains are being disarranged. They're not only dropping, we also look at hammering. If you get a hammer, you start hammering the magnet. You start hammering the magnet, start hammering the magnet, you are hammering. You are also disarranging the magnetic domains. Now, another method is heating a magnet to red hot. Remember, when we are demagnetizing, we said we should avoid the iron bar to overheat because that is going to demagnetize. So, heating the bar magnet to red hot demagnetizes a bar magnet. So, those are the three other methods. Now, if we, if we come to the second question, the question we talked about, describe an experiment on how, you can magnet, on how you can demagnetize a bar magnet using electricity. You see, this is what we were looking at. This is what we learned on using AC current. The only thing that I've brought in there in that question is the word electricity. So, if you, you go on, say, place an iron bar in a solenoid connected to electricity, that is wrong. Because if you look at electricity, we have two types of electricity. We've got DC current and AC current. So the emphasis is that when you're answering that question, always, always bring out the word AC current and never should you mention electricity anywhere. So the procedure would have been, you could have said, place an iron bar in a solenoid connected to an AC power supply. Switch on the current and let it flow for some few minutes. Then while the current is still flowing, withdraw the bar magnet to a few meters away. Then test that bar magnet for magnetism to see if it will attract the iron filings or not. If it doesn't attract the iron filings, which means you have successfully demagnetized the bar magnet. Right. Remember, we've been looking at an interesting topic on magnetism. We started looking at what a magnet is and the two magnetic poles, the North Pole and the South Pole. We also looked at the magnetic fields. Then we went on looking at how we can magnetize the iron bar or steel bar and magnetic material. We looked at how we can magnetize using DC current. Then in today's lesson, we were looking on how we can demagnetize a bar magnet. And we have seen that in demagnetizing a bar magnet, we use AC current. Whereas just in the previous lesson we saw when we were magnetizing, we used DC current. All in all, it has been a very interesting topic, and uh, I have enjoyed your participation. And as we move on to the next lesson, I expect you to participate as you participated. Uh, it has been quite uh, encouraging. Until next time, it's bye for now.